What's up, YouTube? Welcome to it. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a little vlog for y'all. This is a stay at home vlog, day in the life with a sick baby. It's currently, what time is it? It's 9 41 in the morning right now. So, we just woke up. We haven't really did anything. She is sick, like I said, she has the flu. So, yeah, that's the thing with us right now. Um, I first had the flu and I ended up giving it to her, which I hate so much. Like, it was just spreading all around my house because my nieces had the flu or whatever. Then my mom got it, then I got it, now she has it. And I recovered, everybody else recovered, but she's the last one that's still sick. Um, I took her to the doctor yesterday, her temperature was 104. And she's supposed to get Tylenol every four hours. So I'm gonna give her Tylenol now. By the way, y'all, she hates getting her Tylenol. Tell her you hate getting your Tylenol. Tell her you hate taking medicine. Sometimes she'll take it, sometimes she won't. Sometimes out of 10, she's gonna cry. Sometimes she'll be chill though. So we'll see how she is today with it. Look at your Tylenol, mommy. Look at the Tylenol. You want your toy? You want your toy? You gonna let go of my finger? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so she got this Tylenol. It's just grape flavor. It's the only flavor they had. I don't know if she likes this flavor or not, but based off her age, she's five months. Just turned five months two days ago, actually. Y'all remember being grown up. She's growing up. Like, I thought I literally just had her yesterday. And she five months. You five months. You five months. It's crazy, y'all. Like, it's crazy to me to think that next month she'll be half a year. And I'm already planning her first birthday because I'm not planning one. Like, it's got to be planned early so it can be big, everything. And some people will be like, it's stupid to go all out for a one-year-old because they're not going to remember it. It's your baby's first ever birthday. Why wouldn't you go all out? Even my own baby daddy said I'm doing too much. But, no, this is our daughter. This is my seed. She came out of me. She developed and grew on me for nine months. And you think I'm not going to go all out for her first birthday? They crazy poo poo. They crazy poo poo. They crazy. But anyway, let me. This is how I do her medicine. So I just pull it down to the third line, three point seventy five. A little bit more. And I'm gonna give it to her like this. Um, I keep her head elevated when I give her, her medicine. So I'm gonna put her on this pillow right here and give it to her don't cry poo poo okay it's gonna be okay okay it's gonna be okay don't cry don't cry and her nose i thought i need to clean her nose if she has any boogers in it before i try to give her medicine because she has the flu so her nose gets really stopped up really easily and fast so i'm gonna see what her nose talking about see if i need to clean that and by the way she hates getting her nose clean even worse than the medicine so I hate doing that so much, y'all, but she's so clogged up, y'all. Okay, I tried to give y'all a better angle of me giving her medicine. So, well, first I'm going to clean the nose. If she will let me, she won't even let me see what's in there for real. It's okay, boo boo. It's okay. Y'all see how much she moves around. She does not want her nose clean. She does not want her nose clean. It's okay. It's 
Um, her nose isn't that bad, so I'm just leave her be right now because I hate when she cries. I hate doing anything that I feel is putting her in pain. But I know it needs to be done so she can feel better. Okay, she stopped up. She can't breathe, y'all. So I definitely have to clean her nose when it's stopped up and everything. But right now, it's not too bad. Like, she still sounds congested because, like, so far up there. And obviously, I can't clean boogers. I can't see. But, yeah. I couldn't clean her nose. So we're just going to give her some Tylenol. Give her some Tylenol. So, yeah, I'm going to give her a Tylenol. Okay, come on. I just have to, like, it's all right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's all right. So, I just gave her a little bit right then. I try to, like, take the pasty out while her mouth a little open and just put it in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, boo-boo. Come on, you got it, you need it, you got to. You got to. Oh, y'all, this is lighting. I'm sorry. I did not know the sun keep doing that. Okay, come on, boo. You got a little bit left. A little bit left. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. You're doing so good, mommy. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. Her so mm -hmm. doing so good. Okay, you got a little bit left. A little bit left. Come on. You done. You did it, big girl. You did it, big girl. You did it, big girl. Come on. I'm so proud of you. Mm. I'm so proud of you. So right now, I think I'm going to change her diaper because I know it needs to be changed. <coughs> and she is coughing a lot. She's coughing a lot now that she's sick, y'all. It's okay. I just kind of bad when she coughs. It's all right, mama. It's all right. It's okay. You okay? You okay? But yeah, I'm gonna change your diaper real quick. Do it when you love me. Okay, y'all, I just took my bonnet off. Probably gonna put it back on because she likes to grab hair. I'm gonna come back here, get her some baby food, and I'm gonna feed her dad. Hopefully, she eat it. Um, after that, I'm gonna give her some Pedialyte because she hasn't been drinking formula since she's sick. It's not good for her stomach right now. So I'm gonna give her some strawberry Pedialyte and I'm gonna give her some baby food. So I'll be back with y'all. Okay, okay, okay. You want some baby food? Do you want some baby food? Come on, you want it? It's all right. Don't cry, baby girl. Come on. Come on. You want some more? There's hair in my mouth. Okay. Come on. Give her the Pedialyte because she's hungry, I know. And I want to give her the baby food to put more on her stomach so she gets full. But Pedialyte might be all she can have right now since she does have the flu. She's sick. She can't have her milk and all that. It's just kind of hard. But she likes the Pedialyte. Maybe this is what she needs right now. And if you don't know what Pedialyte it basically is, um, it just replaces the electrolytes. Like, it still gives them the same nutrients the milk from milk, but it's for, like, if they can't have their milk at the moment, you know? 
she slowly learning how to hold her own bottle a little bit. Sometimes she'll drop it and need a little more help. That's why she, I said she's learning. She don't have it all the way. So now I'm just laying down with oh. it. I don't really know what she wants. She was just crying. I don't know if she's sleepy. I don't know if she's not hungry all the way. What is in your hair, boo-boo? I don't know. Ow! <laughs> I just had a burp in my face. That was a good burp, though. Thank you. Thank you for that. But... <gasps> what you spin up? You spin up? I know that's not. What is that? Is that just your spit? Or is that the time and all? I don't know. I'm going to get back to y'all later. I got my tinkle bit in her swing for the moment. And me, I just thought some bacon out for myself. Well, I'm throwing some bacon out for myself. Um... Not nothing too much. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna title this video. Should it be a productive day in the life or just a day in the life routine? Oh, for shit, baby. I don't know. I'm trying to decide. Cause I'm trying to decide. If I'm gonna be productive, maybe I can title it productive day in the life. Cause yeah, sometimes I need to get done. Like, look, all her clothes are inside of her crib. All her dirty clothes are inside of her crib. Those need to be folded. My room is actually pretty messy. Stuff all in the bed. It's not that bad, but it can definitely be clean. Um, I'm really trying to get videos out for y'all. I just found a video yesterday. Haven't even uploaded that one yet, but right now I'm over here filming another video. Ain't y'all proud of me? Ain't y'all proud of me? Today is actually a school day, but I haven't been in school in like two weeks because obviously I was sick the first week, then now Brielle is sick, so. Yeah, I have my excuses for school and everything. Yeah, my mom emailed the school, told them what's going on. So, I'm fine. I've been doing my work at home, so I'm going to do a little bit of work in a minute. Um, trying to decide what should I do right now. Right now, I think I'm going to just brush my hair out real quick. Um, I already washed my face this morning, like before I even started filming. I didn't brush my teeth, but I don't believe so. I guess I'm gonna brush my teeth right now. Y'all, I flat ironed my hair yesterday. You will actually see the video of me flat ironing my hair because I did a story time while flat ironing my hair. And y'all, look at my hair like it's not flat at all. Like this flat iron is absolutely terrible. It's absolutely terrible. But I love my new little sparkly lace band. I got it um from the hair store and I love it so much. It is so cute. But let me brush my teeth real quick, y'all. And I'll get back with y'all. You wanna get your face wiped off? You wanna get her face wiped off? Why are you taking it from me? Why you took it from me? Why you took it? Why you took it? Let me get it. Let me get it so I can wipe your face off. It's just a rat. You okay? You okay? You okay? Look at my happy baby. 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 Okay, you want to hold it? So I'm going to put some lotion on her too. Like I said in my other video, I love this. I love this. I love this. So I'm going to put this on her. Oh, y'all, let me tell y'all what I just seen yesterday. Baby Shark Live, but it's coming to my city. I'm trying to stop. I should go. Like, should me and my daddy go? Where I got it? Hey. Hey. I'm just playing with her right now. And this toy. Hey. She like this smile when I play with her. She is the cutest thing ever. I really love playing with my daughter. But, um. But y'all, the tickets are high. $49 per person for like a back row. What is it? What is it? You want all my attention? Can't nobody else have it? Is that what it is? Why you keep dropping your toy? You don't want it? Oh, let me get the wrap. $49 per person. But at the same time, I feel like... 
she would enjoy it. Like, if she, like, was old enough, like, say she's, like, two years old and she loves Baby Shark and she watched Baby Shark every single day, yeah, I definitely would pay that. But, I mean, I've never even put Baby Shark on for her. She don't know nothing about Baby Shark. She's only five months. She'll be... She'll still be five months. Okay, it's supposed to be next month, November 16th. She don't turn six months to November 25th. So, she, yeah, she wouldn't even understand it. I'm like, is it really worth it to pay that much money for a little show? But I don't know. At the same time, I really do be wanting my daughter to go out and have fun. And I cannot wait for Halloween. I cannot wait for Halloween, y'all. I'm really excited for Halloween because I'm going to carve a pumpkin on my tinker butt, take some pictures. Me and her going to be matching in our matching costumes. And we going to eat them girls up, ain't we? We going to eat them girls up. We going to eat them girls up. Yes, we are. But I'm just going to clean up my room. So I'm going to show y'all a little montage of me cleaning. It's not that messy, but I just want to clean it up because I hate messy rooms, for real, honestly. I love it, but I making the bed all the way but getting that comforter down out of my container on the top of my shelf in the closet was very exhausting because my other um blanket i had on there like the, it was like a cool i don't know what you would call that but it's so much stuff from her her tylenol her spit up just everything you can imagine it's in that and it definitely needs to be washed so I took it off and now I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Yeah, I'm exhausted now, y'all. I am not that big. I don't weigh that much. I'm not even knocking my camera. I'm not that big. I don't weigh that much. Like, I don't exercise. Most of I'm very lazy in a homebody. So the littlest thing take all my energy. And it's sad. It is sad. But look at my twin. Look at my twin. Look at my twin. Look at my twin. Mm. But I'm gonna get back to y'all when um I'm up and back doing stuff. She keeps crying, so I'm gonna try to give her some milk. Even though I said she don't need it, no, I feel like this is what she wants. I feel like she's hungry and she wants milk. She's tired of PDLI, she's tired of juice, all this. She wants milk because this is what she's most used to. But hopefully she keeps it down. I think I gave her milk last night. Yeah, I gave her some milk last night. And she kept it down. So hopefully she keeps it down. I'm only giving her a little bit. She's not getting her full six ounces like she was getting before she was sick. She was sick. Just giving her a little bit at a time and letting her work back up to six ounces of milk. We're going to see if this helps Miss Dramatic. Okay, I gave her the milk, and as expected, now she's knocked out, so I'm going to get back to y'all when I can lay her down and get back to being productive. Alright, y'all, my hair looks a mess, but I'm going to um cook some breakfast now because my bacon is thawed out. If I sound a little different, I was just pretty sad, like, it could be certain things that go on. It know it sets me, but it's whatever, like, it's just certain things my child's father says to me, and does, it really hurts me, honestly, y'all, it does, ooh, my legs is lifting right there, y'all, let me do that down, I have to put that back down, but yeah, it really does hurt me, but I keep moving forward, so let's 
cook some breakfast. <laughs> Y'all can't tell me this not my twin. I'm, not so I'm trying to decide what I want to make for breakfast. Though. Like, should I be lazy? Y'all, it's already 12 44. I'm very late on breakfast. But I want to, I still want to just do Pop Tarts with eggs and bacon. I've never ate that, but I don't know. Pop, a warm up Pop Tart, like a Pop Tart that you put in the toaster, be hidden to me. It'd be so good. So I might do that. I don't know. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna change her diaper since she just woke up. It's almost one o'clock. It's like twelve forty-four right now. She got her last towel on at nine, so she'll be getting it again soon. Cause she get it every four hours. I'm gonna just put that in a little time lapse for y'all. Cause I know y'all don't want to keep seeing it. I don't know how long I'm gonna be filming for today or vlogging. Um, probably if I feel like I have everything done to be productive for today. But yeah, my bacon is probably in there burning. Let me go check on that too. Okay, so while I finish cooking, I'm gonna let her play in this for a little moment. It's a tummy time set, and she can watch her Peppa Pig while she's playing. <laughs> I'm not done cooking my y'all. As y'all can see, I just decided to do some waffles instead. Cause like I said, I never ate a pop tart with breakfast, especially with eggs and bacon. I don't know. But I'm gonna make me some coffee now, y'all. Cause when you're a mother, baby, you need it. I'm gonna eat this coffee. Did I say I'm gonna eat the coffee? I'm gonna drink this coffee. It's the Dunkin' Me Crazy. We don't have the carrot cup for it. So you just put the stuff into this and then you put it in the carrot. So yeah, back to the montage. <laughs> Coffee creamer and my coffee. I shouldn't get 12 ounces, y'all, because I don't even have any coffee. Brown chef's kids. I'm gonna brew some more coffee though, because this is not enough for me. 
Meanwhile, this is what the breakfast is giving. Can't nobody say I can't cook. Let me get my sir, baby. So I'm finally finna eat y'all. Got my coffee, got my food. Let's eat. This is how mothers eat, by the way. Well, this is how I eat as a mother. And it's so aggravating because she tries to grab things off my plate all the time. But I'm gonna get back with y'all when I'm done. She's not gonna like me, but she got a booger that's like really clogging her nose. So I gotta get it. I gotta get it. We're gonna try to get in there. We're gonna. <laughs> she literally moves her head in the opposite direction. Okay, okay, okay. You did good, mama. He's pretty happy right now. So maybe that's why. This is a big booger to y'all. I'm not going to show y'all because it's kind of disgusting. But let me see if it's out. Okay, um, I just gave her medicine. I cleaned her nose. And y'all, she did great both times. Like, she didn't cry. She didn't fuss. She didn't really turn her nose and all that, turn her head like she usually does. She did great. She did so good. I'm so proud of her. Mm. I'm so proud of her. And it is so, it is so important to always congratulate your kid. Always make sure you tell them how proud you are of them. And that's something I always do. Even though she's so young, she's only five months. I still always let her know that her mommy is so proud of her. And I always will her whole life because... <clears throat> I feel like when a parent doesn't really congratulate the kid, and I'm not just saying like, oh, say, that's good, good job. Really show your kid you're really, truly proud. Like, when you don't do that, I feel like the kid will feel like, well, if my mom doesn't care, what's the point? If dad doesn't care, what's the point? Why am I trying if nobody's proud of me, you know? Like... I don't know, that's just how I used to feel as a kid when my parents didn't give me the reaction I necessarily wanted out of them or whatever. So I definitely would never want my child to go through that. So I definitely always let her know how proud I am. And even if you don't have a kid, like this is from me to another mother advice or whatever, but it's just not to a mother. Like even if you're not a mother, let anybody know how proud you are of them like you don't understand that really will make a person's day way better just knowing that somebody's proud of them whether it's your boyfriend your brother your sister your uncle whatever it is let them know you are proud but yeah i'm gonna stop preaching and i'm gonna go back to being productive finish cleaning my room and then after that i think i might end this vlog a little bit in this vlog because after I finish being productive and everything. I mean, me and my baby pretty much just gonna chill the rest of the day. And this curtain, oh my god. Yeah, I need to um do some schoolwork. I need to wash her bottles and clean up my room. So yeah, I'm gonna get on that now. This is why it's hard to be productive as a mother. So she kept crying, y'all, and her swings. So I had to stop being productive. But I made her a bottle, and she's getting so good at holding it, y'all. Like, she's growing up. Oh, my God. Okay, so she finally went to sleep. So, I mean, she's back up now, but I had time to clean my room. So it's pretty clean. I need to vacuum my floor. I don't mind that. But now I'm just putting her clothes away that are in her crib in her drawers. Okay, so I got her crib all cleaned up finally. Now she can sit in there and watch her little crib mobile. And I put her some toys in there to play with. And she has all these bottles that need to be washed. So I'm gonna wash these. Before we even get into the outro too much, first of all, I just want to say if you made it to the end of this video, you're a real one. You're a real one. This is my longest video I've ever posted. So if you made it to the end of the video, please let me know because you are a real one for real and I love you. 
Okay, y'all, that's it for today's vlog. I feel like I got a lot of things done today, which was good. It actually was a productive day. In the life of a teen, mom with a sick baby. Um, Please like, comment, subscribe. Please comment video ideas down below. I really be needing them, y'all. Really be needing them. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Like, I really am so close to getting monetized, y'all. I'm so close to getting paid. So I'm going to be on my consistency. For real, like I love doing YouTube. Really trying to take it serious, but yeah, thanks for watching and we love you so much. Say bye, boo boo. Say bye, boo boo. Mm -hmm. See you guys in the next one.